today I have Creality 3D's newest LA printer to review, the LD002R. Let's unbox it and take a look. Build quality looks excellent. Okay, a few notes. Most of the 3D printers I will will use what's known as FDM or Fuse Deposition Modeling. This is a SLA or Stereolithography 3D printer. FDM printers scroll melted plastic out of a nozzle. SLA printers use light pixels to selectively harden a UV resin layer by layer. I'll go into pros and cons for each after our test print. You do need to wear gloves, a mask, and eye protection when using an SLA printer. Okay, now I'm just going to level the bed. Let's take, up. let's turn it on first. Okay, let's move up the C axis. Let's change the language to English. Confirm. Okay, and go back. Okay, now let's take out the rest and wet. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to use the Allen key to loosen the screw. <clears throat> and then we go to home C. And now let's tighten it. Okay, now let's move the Z axis up and peel off the sticker. The resin isn't really good for you, so I'm going to cover up a bit, cover up my bare skin so that it won't splash out on me. And of course, wear gloves and mask. The mask does, doesn't help the fumes, but it helps prevent the droplets goes into your nose and your mouth. You still need a pretty good ventilated space for this. So right now we are in the Creality Slicer. This uh, program is called Chotu Box. It's their new slicer for the SLA printer. Now let's import our STL file. So my head is above the level. I want to scale it down a bit until the web part uh, goes away. And I want to rotate it to an angle, 
not 90 degrees I mean 45 <clears throat> 45 yep and still I can see the base is a little bit yeah something like this right so now I'm at an angle and then let's go to the support setting and add all support these are all default setting. I didn't do anything. Uh, I just used their default setting. If you want, look, it seems like there are a lot of options for you to uh, do. But right now, let's just use uh, their default setting. And then let's rotate and see. Looks, looks about right. But this is, um, yeah, the support is all the way there. So let's move it a bit to the center yep like this now is in the center looks about right okay let's slice it Right, let's save it. And then it shows writing file. Once it's done, the file will be done. And then we will do the standing one. Okay, this one should be standing. So I'm not gonna, gonna rotate it, no nothing. I'm just going to the support setting at, at all support. All right. Looks like my arms, my legs and the base all has support all right looks pretty good so let's save it let's go go back to slice it all right then save okay now let's test these two prints Okay, let's see how it came out. Uh, I'm just going to rinse the print off with some alcohol. Okay, I already rinsed the extra raisin off uh, and I'm going to put it in the UV box to cure it and that's over there. Okay, I'm going to use the UV box I made last time to cure it and I'm going to put a link to it in the description box.
No, that's Prints uh, of my model. These two are printed on the new Creality LD002R printer, and this one I used the Ender Free, the FDM printer to print it. During the process, I made a mistake and printed out three different shapes, um, so it's not great for comparison. But let's take a look at the end result. So, this one it's very smooth from the back. Same very spoon, very smooth, no visible uh, layer lines, but removing the support was a big problem. There's, I make a mess. So the other one, same thing from the back, and the front is super smooth because there was no support. Again, support removing support is a problem, and the other one I printed this one. Is printed uh, from the end of free. I think the uh, layer height is 0.1 is printed at. Okay, this is a tough call. The problem is I'm awful at this kind of support removal and I ended up really butchering these models. Screwing up the scale of the prints didn't help any. I do functional prints, not decorated prints like this. The LD002R printer did its job. It was easy to use, easy to level, there were no fail prints or print defects. The print is smooth where it should be smooth. It's only going to be as good as the jiggle I send it. I have no doubt that the slicing software can be dialed in to make support removal easier. My clumsiness is the biggest factor here. But it does show the lar largest caveat of DLP printers. They really are an artist tool and go best with a bit of artistic skill and dexterity. FDM printers like the Ender Free and CR10 Max, they are like a table saw, a tool for strong functional parts that aren't always pretty. DLP is like fine carving chisels, beautiful results, but a bit more skill required. It's true you can make beautiful models on a DLP printer without being a skilled sculptor, but you still need a bit of skill to remove the supports and clean those models up. I'm sure my comments will be flooded with people bragging about how easy it is for them. Sure, maybe that's easy for you. And yes, I could focus on just this one skill for enough hours and get much better at it. But I could also focus on sculpting and get good enough to carve this without a 3D printer at all. The point of digital fabrication is to cut down on the number of hours we need to invest in skill acquisition. So final word, if you are accustomed to DLP printers and the post-processing their prints require, the LD002R is a phenomenal value. If you already own an FDM printer and want an inexpensive DLP printer for high resolution prints and understand some of the challenges that come with that, again, great bet. I think LD002R is better than most DLP printers in its price range. But I also think DLP printers at a first or only printer are almost always a mistake. Get FDM first. Some people get the idea that DLP printers are like high-resolution FDM printers. No, they are meant for different end uses. Don't get one because you want to print smooth functional prints. It makes no sense for that. They are for small commercial prototypes, figurines, jewelry. If you are absolutely intent on doing any of those, the LD002R is a great bet. 
If you like this 3D model of me and would like to show off your support with Moomoo skills, there is a link to my mini factory in the description box where you can purchase the model for just $11 and all proceeds goes to charity. It's a really good cost and not much money for such a neat print. If you like my videos, please subscribe and tell your friends about me. If you would like to see them a week before anyone else, please consider sponsoring me. Links are in the description below. Okay, that's it for today. Until next time, remember, if I can do it, anyone can do it.